I'm excited to announce we're having a huge MyPillow spring sale. And here's a few examples. Buy one of our MyPillow 2.0s, you get another MyPillow 2.0 absolutely free. Made with cooling technology, the best pillow ever just got even better. And this just in, nine brand new colors and styles of our Percale bed sheets. They're made with the finest long staple cotton, and now you can save 50% or more. That's as low as $24.98. And for the first time this year, I'm bringing you our My Slippers and Sandals for as low as $25 a pair. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your MyPillow 2.0s. Buy one, get one free. Percale sheets as low as $24.98. My slippers and sandals as low as $25 a pair. And for a limited time, when you order $75 or more, your entire order ships absolutely free. All right, we are joined now by our friend and regular contributor over here at State of the Nation, Mr. Gene Valentino, once again, host of the Grassroots Truthcast, one of the best podcasts out there. Gene, welcome back to State of the Nation. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Brian and Timothy. Glad to be with you. Hey, you know, uh, we got a lot of Trump stuff we could talk about, but, I, you know, those first two stories we threw out there, I'm, I can tell, I can see it in your eyes. I know you want to comment on that, so hop on in here. Well, that last one that uh, Timothy brought up with both of them in a thrusting, downward-facing position, I call that migration interruptus. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's uh, got to be a distraction for whatever their uh, their uh, uh, deep state agenda is. I think uh, took them off. I think it derails everybody. And so the story was a good one. But yeah, Trump seems to be in the headline even as we speak. I've also found your uh, comments about uh, Roger Stone very interesting. You know, isn't it true? You had a guest on moments ago that got the same treatment, actually worse. Uh, he was on his way to jail. Can you imagine someone knocking on your door, knocking on the door, banging down yeah. the door at four or five in the morning for an uh, in a SWAT team format with no with no uh, felony or apparent imminent uh, danger imposed upon the community, and they felt they had to take that kind of uh, theater uh, to his home at that early well, with hour. With CNN already positioned outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah. I mean, they tipped off CNN. I wish uh, they didn't tip off Fox News or Breitbart or any of the other uh, 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 outlets. But it's clear that uh, I was just watching on the news earlier today. These media in general are uh, out to get Trump. They 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 just need to put him away. The uh, government um, knows that uh, as um, as Mr. Mr. Stone and you guys concurred, uh, that President Biden must be uh, jacked up on something because he he uh, goes through moments of uh, uh, lucid behavior and then falls into some uh, coma while he's walking past people. Is 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 a propped up um, president that is not on his game, and I'm embarrassed for the nation. The problem is it's that kind of vitriol that thinks that, that guy, it's more important to hate Trump than it is to protect this nation and provide good leadership. That's what's scary right now. And they showed that uh, uh, bad behavior in trying to go after Roger Stone. What a shame, because Roger has been a historian, but he's also been a, a contributor to this nation going back through seven, several presidencies and uh, has a history that, you know, you want to get to the truth on some of these political issues. Go to a guy like Roger Stone, who has the face-to-face, uh, -face, firsthand knowledge on some of the bad behavior that occurred in the presidencies leading up to Donald Trump. Yeah, and here's how bad it is, Gene. In New York State, violent criminals that are in pretrial detention, right? So they're at Rikers Island, they're in jail. Their trials are scheduled first. They get priority. Next are violent criminals that are out on uh, pretrial release. It, white collar criminals are not even being prosecuted here in New York State. They're still working their way through the criminal cases from 2021, 2022, the violent criminal cases. 
and white prong collar crime isn't even being prosecuted. And here you have a non-crime, something they had to paste together, six different statutes and a and a questionable court ruling and a couple pieces yeah. of bubble gum and some duct tape. And yet this goes to the head of the line. It just it, it's clearly a political witch hunt. So what is the consequence and what is the remedy? That is the point. I've talked about Gene's second Bill of Rights and creating a, a mechanism that addresses the immediacy of bad behavior within the government itself. How do we remedy it before there's an internal takeover that uh, is attempted to take down the governance altogether? We need a way of stopping these bad actors midstream and getting this matter under control sooner than later. I would I would advocate for that too, Gene. And I think a uh, we need a, a a writ of transparency. I think that we need That's right. uh, some sort of proper audit of things that have been labeled uh, secret or you know whatever they're showing these guys in the skiff on <laughs> under Capitol Hill. And we need to know why. You know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was actually saying this today quite uh, loudly. You know, uh, you need to be transparent with us. If if we're going to give up our freedoms over foreign wars and uh, threats of, you know, domestic attack, then that needs to be made credible to the American public. And, and you know, that representation should be had. Yeah, well, those fears that are instilled in the citizens, uh, an egregious action against Roger Stone also sets into motion a a threat to the rest of us. Oh my words, if that can happen to him, might it happen to us for something much less next week? And I'm so proud of our governor, if I can speak to that for a second, Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, I hate I hate the fact that he uh, had to step out of the national scene, but boy, he gets an A-plus with me on the way he's managed the state of Florida. Just signing a bill into action that says that the Florida legislators, educators, excuse me, are required now to teach the evils of communism under this new law. The Florida educators are required to teach the history of the tactics used by American communist movements that uh, as well as all the negative events that occurred under communist regimes now the kids must learn how and why karl marx marxism was wrong and uh, come to understand that people still cling to failed marxist theories like religion out of fear and envy despite their long trail of human destruction. Schools should also teach basic and free market principles as related to the democracy. And every student needs some grounding in business economics and business ownership. I'm an adjunct professor at the local college and uh, I teach business entrepreneurship uh, every week. And uh, I got to tell you guys, uh, getting the values and the incentives and the motivations reinstilled into our our students, even before they reach Columbia University, uh, to learn what is necessary about opportunity and freedom and liberty in this nation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gene, uh, quickly, before we have to let you go, do you have any thoughts on Mike Johnson and this whole FISA thing? You know, uh, a lot of conservatives right now are pretty upset to see what's happened. Well, he, he's got himself in a pickle. Um, there was a briefing he had, a private intelligence briefing recently that I think uh, that he's preventing, he's bringing forward a, a $95 billion aid package, which addresses Ukraine and Israel and a little bit of Southeast Asia, Taiwan, but where's that coverage we screamed about for our southern border? Nada, not in it. And that's what's causing the conservative Republicans to flare up. We've talked about it too. Protect the border first before you tell me about any, any foreign interests. America's ready for that discussion. And I think um, he must have received some intelligence through some of the intelligence briefings that um, may have swayed his mind on why we should do something for Taiwan, uh, Taiwan, Ukraine, and Israel. I'm not against that, 
but I'm just still frustrated with the total uh, abrogation of the president and the Democrat Congress in protecting our southern border. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that transparency we're asking for. If you're learning something that groundbreaking and changing that could, you know, repolarize uh, the 118th, you should be able to let us know, or at least, you know, at some level. None of this, uh, you got to take my word for it, because I was in the haunted house known as the skiff. Uh, all you right, know. genevalentino.com is the website. The Grassroots Truthcast is the podcast. Gene, anything else on the way out? God bless America. We'll survive it. And next year will be even better. All right. I like those words of positivity. Gene Valentino, great to have you with us. Again, genevalentino.com is where you keep up with all things Gene Valentino. And, of course, right here on State of the Nation at today's News Talk TNT. Interviews, news, and views. You're listening to State of the Nation with Timothy Shea and Brian McLean on today's News Talk TNT. Now more than ever, it's important to support companies and organizations that share our values. Our votes are not enough. Patriot Mobile not only shares our beliefs, but does something about it. They're America's only Christian conservative wireless carrier, and they donate a portion of every dollar to organizations that fight for the causes you and I care about. Switch to Patriot Mobile now and get free activation with offer code GeneV. So go to PatriotMobile.com forward slash GeneV, use promo code GeneV, and enjoy America's only Christian conservative wireless carrier, amazing coverage, and free activation now.